This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. You'll definitely have times when you want to start a database from scratch and when you might want a little help along the way and open up a template. Let's go take a look first at how to open a brand new start from scratch database. So I opened up Access and it automatically pops up to the, the new screen, right? The open screen. And I don't want any of the recently used files or existing files. What I want is this area here that has the white background, the templates that are available and or the blank database. And here's the blank one. It just says blank desktop database. And you go ahead and click and it says, okay, what do you want to name this? Well, let's call it class example. And then you decide where you want to store it. Right now, this is the location that it's being stored. If you want to change it, you just click on the browse and you open that up. And I do, I want to put it here in the access folder. And then at the bottom, save as type. How do I want to store this? What database type do I want? I definitely want the 07 through the 2013, and then I'll go ahead and say, okay. Now that doesn't create the database, that just creates the storage location for the database. Next, hit the create button, and now what I get is my new class example. You can see in the title bar up here, it says class example, database, and it gives the path for that database. And now it's completely empty, except for a brand new table, because it assumes that what you're going to want is to design your tables. And you have now that opportunity to go out and create a table. But right now, all we're doing is actually developing and creating databases. I could close this database, but you could only have one database open at a time. So I'm just hitting File to go back into the backstage, and now we'll click New. So here's another way to create a brand new Start From Scratch database or to use a template. See, it's the same yet a little different. Your new area is a bit bigger here and you have some of the same objects that you had before. What's really great is Microsoft allows you many, many, many templates that are out there that someone else has created. And they have topics. For instance, maybe you want templates for access assets, and this would search out and find different databases that have asset tracking. On the right-hand side, we have different categories, and you could scroll through and find the, you know, the, what you're searching for. Well, I want household assets, and so now I have the database here that says, well, how about this home inventory? Is that what you want? Mm, maybe that's not exactly what I want, so I could do a different search. Well, the search that I want to do is I want to teach you about a database that Microsoft makes available, and it's called Northwind. And Northwind is, oh, it's been around for quite a few versions of Access, but it's a great, fully developed database that will give you multiple examples of what you can do inside of a database. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Northwind and hit search, and you see there's my desktop Northwind sample database. Now, it's a Northwind, it's a 2007 database. I'm going to go ahead and click that, and it says, what do we want to call it? We're going to call this one sample. Northwind, and I want to put that in the same place. I want to put that in my access folder here. So now I've created the sample Northwind, and there's the extension for an Access 2013 database, ACCDB. We'll go ahead and click on Create, and it's preparing it for first use because it's going out and grabbing all of the information that Northwind has available. Now the benefit of a template is that there's pre-created information in it. The downside is you have to figure it out. This one is great. It tells you what to do to get started. It says, make sure that you enable the contents. So right up here at the top, the security warning, we'll click enable contents, and then it gets started for you. So see right away, it's showing you that you can have pop-up dialog boxes that show on the screen as soon as you start your database. It's giving me a sample that I can have drop down arrows to choose information, and that you can have users actually log in to the database. Uh, so many great tools and tips and tricks out here. This is a perfect example, I think, of something that will help you as a beginner learn some of the power behind Excel, excuse me, behind Access, and to help you excel in your usage of Access. 
The other thing, you can come in here and play all you want to. Doesn't matter if you make mistakes because it's simply a learning tool. Well, let's go back to file and one more time, I want to tr choose new because there are so, so many templates out here. What you're going to want to do is figure out what it is you're trying to develop and see if maybe Microsoft has something available for you under a category that you're looking for or go ahead and create your own blank desktop database so that you can start from scratch and turn it into anything that you want. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.